the thing I won't uh, cover uh, here is the moving platform since it's in the challenge I give you. However, I will show you another way to to handle the the health bar. So it's a bit uh, mm, is a bit more beautiful. So I will use a tile a tile background, set it to the proper. Uh, layer and get the where are you where are you here get the HP bar uh, pick up pick up uh, graphic and the the health bar will just be this grow 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 more health less health problem we have here is that I can't really I have to redo the code because it's using a sprite object and I'm not sure if I can replace a sprite by a type background I'd say probably not so I have to redo the logic hopefully it's not uh, really big and you can use I think the search feature with uh, HP bar. Up. Oh, <laughs> you can't. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So you can't use the search feature. So you will have to be careful about uh, where you put HP bar references. HP bar 2. So here you want to do the same thing. HP bar 2, set size. 2. Uh, no, set uh, no set the variable max size to self dot width, which will be the starting size. Actually, actually, it's not really this anymore, since uh, you have to represent. Uh, you pref you you want to know really uh, the width of one unit of life. It's. Uh, what you want uh, <coughs> unit width and not max size uh, do you have access to the width of the texture I wonder let's see hmm. you don't so you have to enter the value yourself, or on start of uh, before the start of layout, you set it to just one unit. It's a bit. Uh, I will do it here. Set value unit width to. I think it was this. Let's see with my grid maybe. Yep. Nope. Width of eight. Okay, so it's 16. Unit width to 16. Then HP bar, you don't need this anymore. Now, since we've, s we've uh, organized things uh, nicely, we should have this. And uh, HP, so you want one unit every such uh, <laughs> that's when I think you have to change your uh, how you represent health not from 0 to 100 but from 0 to the amount of uh, of um, cross you want let's say you want uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, let's say you want 10 cross Mm, mm -hmm. 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 let's see you want 10 cross so your uh, max health will be 10 so you starting health 10 as well and when you hit an enemy that's the good thing with the having everything in variables you will just lose one damage 
take one damage and the health will give you one as well so here I changed how I represent health but the so the size will be cell that unit width it's uh, the other one set size set width rather to self dot unit width multiplied by player dot hp simple as that it's even simpler than uh, the previous one so if i'm not wrong finger crossed do, 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 do. okay i have 10 life let's lose one okay i lost one i got it's back. Ah, just get it back. So yeah, you have a new kind of uh, health bar. You replace the former one with this one. You can remove this one, and then you have a new, a brand new, neat HP bar. There's uh, yet other ways to. Uh, you can do a Diablo-like uh, HP. Uh, HUD, you can already do uh, tons of things like this. Okay, uh, let's lose more, 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 more health. Ah, I'm pretty bad at losing health, and I will stop doing this because I'm losing time for nothing. It's already 52 minutes. All right. So we have HP bar, a brand new HP bar, brand new everything. Let's add the easy graphics, I hope. So I will use two layers of background to create some kind of parallax. We had this parallax uh, challenge, uh, so you will see how I, un I handled it in the form again okay so first I want to add some light uh, I since the lights are spread out evenly oh no I didn't use this mechanism Let me, okay I will use a sprite I will use a sprite I thought I used the type background but I used the type background for something else okay it would be overkill to use a tight background for this, maybe. Mm. So, okay, let's bring the light. Mm, okay, I had a little glitch, and the light should be. Oh, oh, -ho. okay, just uh, noticed I actually did use a tight background because here you could do this. And uh, using a sprite would be uh, a good thing if uh, you didn't have evenly spread out uh, light. Here I'm using a uh, tight background just because I'm lazy. The good thing about tight background for this kind of thing is you only have one object. The bad thing is you have extra padding margin uh, um, transparent pixels so there's a kind of trade-off here you choose uh, whatever you think is right I will remove this uh, I will add a collision here so it makes a nice background for uh, the HUD and also it makes a kind of roof um, I will set the grid to 8 so I can have something more even ok alright and here ok ah, my middle mouse button is a uh, all one key Okay, let's uh, put the coin counter here with another. Let's find this color uh, here. 
color 21 I will say it in French easier to remember 21 178 246 21 178 246 21 178 246 okay uh, so here you have your counter I will set it to Let's see. Maybe I will center vertically. Center. Okay. Mm. Don't know. Center maybe the the hot spot as well. Nah. It doesn't look really good. I will go back to top left, top left. Okay. Somehow it feels more aligned. Okay. So if I launch the game for now I have this Okay You could use uh, make yourself a nice uh, coin counter like the HP bar or maybe an, you would have another ID or a coin object which which have on top a text uh, object with the count I don't know uh, okay, so let's see where to put this one. Let's put this one on background two. It's slightly on the behind the character, but not too much. And uh, let's just cheat a bit and extend the, the layout so it it nicely tiles. Here, okay. I will use this value as the size of my layout. Ping, uh, ping, Ah, yeah. Copy paste is a bit broken in the field. Uh, things to remember. Okay. Okay. I think I was something like. Okay. Um, okay, this. okay. So here we have uh, some background lights. Now I want to add to add uh, some columns uh, in background two as well. Sprite columns. I this time I used a uh, uh, sprite even if I will have them evenly spread out because um, the problem if you use tight background is you will select them if you click on the middle and it's a pain so yeah for these ones I used this what you can do and I didn't do it uh, you may notice that I uh, we presented some uh, cast shadow on the column. Uh, since you want them aligned uh, on the top, you can put the the origin on top, so that you just have to set them to the same coordinate. There's now, uh, and I will uh, demonstrate them uh, right now. Since I want to do this fast, I will lock this. Also, I forgot to set them to the proper background. Okay, I will spread them uh, out. If it's the word, not sure. Mm, no column is here. No column here. Okay, and I will just try to uh, eyeball the center. Well, it seems kind of okay. Here, center here. Okay, and then I will select all these sprites. You can do this like this, like this is better. And then do an align space horizontally. And normally everything should be properly centered. Looks okay to me. Okay, so it's done. Now I will add the grid in the background. So this one will be in background one. It's uh, also a tight background, and here. Ah, 
didn't remember I had this styling like this. It's interesting. 